Everybody knows the fight was fixed The poor stay poor, the rich get rich That's how it goes Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of The Misadventures of an American Elected. I'm James, a male Democratic Committee member of Essex County, New Jersey, serving the good people of Irvington South Ward 7th District. I appreciate you for taking a moment to kick it with me. Please do all the usual stuff, like, sub, share, speak. And with that being said, let's get into why the name of this episode is called Shenanigans. What you're looking at is the results of my election, and clearly I don't care about being doxxed. <laughs> now, what you're seeing is three votes, but this is the manner in which my lit ask people to vote for me. It's five letters space five letters. None of the three votes listed here are in that format, which I could, you know, just chalk up as lies. Hey, maybe my people didn't get up and vote for me as they said they did. But that's the thing. My vote is missing. And the method to most promote it to get me my vote is completely gone. In my zeal, maybe I punched it in so fast that I forgot the letter or something like that, but I'm a bit of a stickler about how my name is spelled, and I'm not going to make that mistake. The five-letter space, five-letter format is nowhere to be found. I don't know. So, shenanigans. There is definitely something up with the vote system, and I'm just like... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. For two reasons. One, where the hell is my vote? Two... At the local gathering, which we'll discuss in a second, I was informed that I actually got only one vote, and I'm an appointment. I'm very uncomfortable with that designation, because I earned this place. As minuscule as it may be, I spent 40 episodes and endless time, you know, really cultivating the trust of my family here, and to see the shenanigans take place is infuriating and perplexing. They keep switching rules, you know? Last cycle, there only needed to be one name on a petition to run, so uh, as I was informed, but now that number's moved up to five. But regardless, I'm missing at least five votes. Look, if what I'm told is accurate, then, you know, thank you for the appointment, I appreciate it, but make no mistake, I earned my votes. Speaking of, that's what the first two meetings consisted of, voting for people who already had positions to keep their positions. Locally, Matriarch Beasley remained chair as soon as I walk in the door. Before I even get a hello, I am told not to record and take pictures, a sentiment that was later expressed after the meeting. Clearly, my reputation precedes me, but come on, guys, I'm not Project Veritas. I'm not doing some hidden camera shit. If anything, I wear my intentions and purpose on my sleeve. I don't stab in the back. I aim at the face with a baseball bat. Let's actively work on squashing poverty, and we can be best friends. Council Rep Burgess chairs the ward. If you're unfamiliar, she's at the end of the No Fat Kid 5K video, and I'll link that in the description. And if you check the catalog, tons of Irvington elected officials have been featured on this channel. From the mayor himself to the director of health, I've spoken to and about almost all of them. But there's been one. There's been one that I have been decidedly quiet on, and that's current Essex County freeholder, Levy Jones. All right, let's get this county stuff out of the way real quick. Mr. Leroy Jones remains chair, and my goodness, we needed a mop for all the tears. There were so many motions and speeches about how incredible and fantastic the guy is. I'm not exaggerating at all. Hey, but before that, I ran into a metric ton of familiar faces. From a former colleague to Senator Rice himself, who was as cordial as ever, but immediately did his grapple move to more important people technique. <laughs> this guy really has zero interest in changing the circumstances or acknowledging the issues on the ground. But, you know, if he were, then if he did, then I'd have absolutely nothing to say nor reason to be there. I'll link to a recap of our interaction at Raritan in the description as well. So, after a little bit of elbow rubbing, introducing myself to new folks, Freeholder Jones takes a seat next to me. Now, quick history lesson. Miss Jones has been a mainstay in Irvington politics since probably before I was born, but definitely since I can remember. She's familiar with my family, but I don't know this woman on anything other than a high and by level. So, we get to talking and I bring up my favorite topic, the 23% poverty. See, She's 
been here this entire time, along with Senator Rice and plenty other electeds of color. Not only have they permitted the destruction of our families and communities, in many ways such representatives have cheered it on, selling terrible policy under the guise of making our community better, but by every recordable measure, it has been a catastrophe. From pressing the drug war to cheering on the switch from a production economy to a service and gig economy, none of it has worked. We aren't better off. But because our well-compensated representative, representatives remain silent, these awful policies continue to this moment. Damn, Jay, you shit all that to her? Actually, I didn't have to. After just mentioning the poverty rate, her entire demeanor changed. It went from cordial to hostile instantaneously. I'm getting yelled at, told I talk too much. She's asking me about the traps of marriage and children. I hit her with a little MGTOW philosophy and she was dripping with contempt for me. I encouraged her to stop by the channel, but she wasn't having none of it. <laughs> Freeholder Jones was approached years ago on purpose. I wanted to exhaust my options at the local level, and because she has been around so long, she was amongst the first approached, and she flat out said no. One of the major reasons urban communities find themselves in such dire straits is because we are matriarchal by design. I can, and probably will in the future, do an entire video on black male disposability. Before this, just realize that there is far more old black women than men in urban America, and that isn't an accident. Being from such a setting, I know that disagreeing with an elderly black woman is comparable to blasphemy. They can never be challenged, and that's why I have avoided even bringing her up before, because she is ultimately useless to the mission. If she weren't, I wouldn't be there. You know, I gotta get this off my chest. Old black people, men and women, are childish. They throw tantrums and hissy fits when they don't get their way. And no matter who you are or what you've done in life, they know more and better than you, despite the fact that they collectively screwed over generations that came behind them. If you operate in reality, you know statistically it's true. They sold our future for a pension in the names of what's best for the community, for what's best for us, continuously telling us what's best for us. Be it absentmindedly or maliciously, the damage has been done. The conditions and environments deteriorated to the necessity of gentrification. Yet, if I spaz on any of these geezers, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, so that's a pretty decent note in this first video on. That was a very hard edit. I know you heard that hard edit. I apologize, but yeah, I can just go all day on what's uh, transpired here in our communities and what we left our children with that you claim to love so much you know so i'm unsure of how frequently i'm going to be able to do this show if i strictly stick to the initial idea then uh it's pretty impossible to update regularly because i don't know what's on deck but uh as i try to build relationships moving forward i'll do what i can to create a solid schedule for this and you know continuously just talk to not just my constituents but you know i mean like anybody who wants to get shit done and not just be like oh my goodness there's a problem how do we fix everything except for the problem like no 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 I'm, I, that's not my like, like I think that's I think that's one of the main differences between estrogen and testosterone, you know. And, and ladies, this like that's how I'm, I'm I'm editing it now. It's not a woman thing. It's just estrogen versus testosterone, and estrogen will sit there and worry about you know one 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 minuscule problem when you know testosterone is like, hey, we got this bigger thing that if we take care of this, we can knock out that problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like oh man, you're worrying about having a, 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 a clean, clean yard and shit when we're watching the house burn down, man. So like, you know, let's get some water and let's start to figure this out. Um, thank you guys. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop saying what next upload's gonna be because you know, it's going to be here in seven days. You can trust me on that. And until then, love.